Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to guide you that how you can prepare for OS, DBMS and CN for product based companies interviews and online exams as well as for your semester exams if you are a college student. I have divided this video into four sections. So please watch this video till the end. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So let's get started. In the first section, I'll be going through the video resources for OS, DBMS and computer networking. So the very first resource is KnowledgeGate YouTube channel. This is one of the most popular YouTube channel for content regarding the subjects like OS, DBMS and computer networking. Similarly, the second channel is the Gate Smashers. This is also a very popular YouTube channel where you can get really good content for these subjects. Now coming to the question. Which out of these two video resources should you follow? So for this, let me show you guys the two YouTube channels playlist. So this is the knowledge gate DBMS playlist. Here you can see that this playlist consists of 164 videos. So yeah, I know these are a lot many videos, uh, but still these videos teach you from the very basic and till the advanced topics so that you have a good understanding of the subject. Similarly, if you check out the Gate Smashers channel, even this channel has 111 videos for DBMS playlist. So this indicates that you need to spend good amount of time to learn DBMS if you are a beginner because that will help you build the foundation for this subject and you will have a good grasp of this subject for interviews. Now, if you are wondering that out of these two playlists, which one should you choose? So my suggestion is that watch uh, five, six videos of both this playlist and you like get a feel of like which tutor feels you best so that uh, like going forward, you can hold on to only one playlist and you can watch all the videos of that particular playlist. Similarly, you can follow their OS and computer networking playlist as well. So let's say if you are stuck at some point and you don't understand um, any topic from one playlist, it's best to check out the other channel. So this is where the utility of both these playlists come. So you can even combine these playlists to learn like you learn one topic from this channel get smashers you learn few other topic from the knowledge gate channel so this is how you can like study to get a good understanding and even like sticking with one playlist should be enough for your preparation but make sure that with whichever playlist you are sticking you study all the topics from that and don't skip any of these topics because these are really important and you don't know that interviewer might ask you question from any of these subtopics also if you are wondering that watching 100 plus videos of a particular subject would take you maybe weeks or a month so let me make it clear to you that you can complete a single playlist of so many videos within one to two days if you are like seriously watching these videos and studying continuously. One more thing which I would like to recommend to you guys is that if possible, try to watch these videos at 1.5x speed or even greater. That will help you reduce your study time and you can learn these things really quickly. With this, I hope that you have understood that out of these two video resources, which one to follow. Now coming to written tutorials. So you must be wondering that I have already watched the video resources. Now what's the importance of written tutorials? So first of all, that there are different kinds of people. Some like watching videos, some prefer studying from written tutorials. And another point is that after watching so many videos, let's say 120, 150 videos of a single playlist, it might happen that uh, you might forget the initial parts, initial topics as well. So in that case, written tutorials come to your rescue 
and you can quickly revise all your concepts which you have learned through the videos. Now let's see what are the best resources for written tutorials. So the first one is studytonight.com. This is my personal favorite because it contains very less information but that is really sufficient for your interviews. So you can quickly study these before your interviews and crack your interviews really well. Now coming to Geeks for Geeks. So this is the most popular website for these subjects. But I don't think that this was very useful for me because it contains a lot of subtopics in each of these subjects which are not that important for interview preparation. So if you are studying from Geeks for Geeks, then you need to filter out the important topics and then study those part only and you can skip the not very important parts. Coming to the third resource, which is Tutorials Point. So this is also a really good website where you can find the written tutorials in a very crisp manner, each divided in the topic wise section. And these are also a good for revising your topics. Now coming to which of these written tutorials to follow. So I have provided you with three options, but I recommend you to study from at least two of these resources. Why I am saying so? Because since you have already studied from the video lectures, now studying these topics from the written tutorials won't take you much time. And it might also happen that few topics might be skipped in a particular website. So let's say if you are studying from studytonight.com, so it might happen that some particular topic or subtopics are skipped in that website. So in that case, to cover those subtopics, you can follow tutorials point. So that is where having two websites is useful. Now coming to interview questions. So till now what we have done is we have studied from the video resources as well as written tutorials. Now we are all set that we have acquired the knowledge of subjects like OS, DBMS and CN. But at this point, you might be confused as what kind of questions can be asked out of these subjects because I have studied so many topics and subtopics. So here comes the importance of studying interview questions. So let's start. So the very first website which I recommend is Edureka. So this site generally contains top 50 or let's say maybe 100 questions for any subject. So you can simply Google out like top 50 questions of DBMS Edureka. So you'll get the list. Also don't worry, I'll attach the links alongside in the description. Now the second resource is Java T point. So this also contains good interview questions along with the answers. So all the resources which I am currently providing, they have the interview questions as well as the sample answer. Although it might happen that the sample answers are sometimes incorrect. It is very rare though. The third resource which you can follow is any out of these, which is Guru 99 website, interview bit or geeks for geeks. So these are in order of particular preference. So I prefer Edureka most and then I move on to Java T point. And if I feel that I need to study some more questions, then I move to any of these websites. So that is what I'll recommend even to you guys. So the, I have already explained why preparing the interview questions is important because now you can relate that okay these many questions are asked from this particular subtopic so you can emphasize more on that topics in the later stages of your interview preparation so this is where the importance of these websites come in also the best part is that you can encounter any of these questions in the interview itself because even the interviewer does the same thing he also googles that top 50 questions of DBMS and he opens these websites which appear at the top of the Google search results page and most of the times the websites which I have mentioned these are the only websites which appear at the top of the results so he might open that particular page and ask any questions out of those randomly 
and this is where if you have already prepared for from these sites you can answer it and your rock your interview so this was about your interview preparation for the technical interview rounds so are we still missing something let's see so the next section is practice multiple choice questions so you must be wondering okay we are preparing for interviews but so why should i practice mcqs so let me remind you that to appear for interviews you need to crack the online round first and in online rounds you'll most probably get across mcq questions of os dbms and computer networking so let's say if the company has to shortlist only 30 students and there are 150 to 200 students appearing for the exam and out of those let's say many of them have solved two out of two questions coding questions so the only criteria which the company has to shortlist the students is based on mcqs so that is where the multiple choice questions also becomes really important now as you have understood the importance of MCQ questions, so let's see where you can practice these questions from. So the very first resource is Sand Foundry. So this website has a very huge collection of multiple choice questions and it's really not possible to solve all of them. Trust me, for even one subject, it has more than 1000 questions. So I'm not asking you to solve all those 1000 questions, but make sure that you solve at least 100 200 questions so that you get a strong feel that yes i have understood the concepts really well and now i can solve any related questions to those topics so the next resource is indiabix.com even this has a good collection of mcqs of dbms os and cn the best thing about this website is that here you won't find thousands of questions here you'll have only limited number of questions and you can easily complete all of these so coming to the next resource is geeks for geeks even geeks for geeks has many questions but if you have time you can still solve all those mcq questions the best part about solving mcqs are that you won't need to spend a lot of time solving these so make sure that you aren't stuck somewhere and it's not like to keep on solving mcqs for days and days but you should focus on solving at least few problems so that you can get a feel of how the types of mcq questions are asked in the interviews so in this video i have shown you the video resources written tutorials interview questions and as well as resources for practicing mcqs so this was all from this video. Hope you found this video useful. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment and share it with your friends. If you want me to make a video on any specific topic, please comment it down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more such content. Thank you.